Welcome everyone to Gamer Melt. Today I've got a ton of big stories, starting with 8-Core Tiger Lake's release date, NVIDIA's RTX 3080 Ti announcement date, Ryzen 8000 is following Intel's lead, and GPU stock is set to finally get better with this. Okay, it's news time and first up for today, we have a release date for Intel's upcoming 8-core 11th gen Tiger Lake H CPUs. So they're high performance Tiger Lake parts that the company announced back at CES. The story originally comes from a Twitter post by Zeus themselves, and as you can see, it says, quote, For those who dare unleash the tiger inside, May 11th, 2 p.m. CEST. They also used hashtag Intel Gaming and Unleash the Tiger. So yeah, that's obviously a reference to Intel's upcoming Tiger Lake H-powered laptops. Remember that these higher core Tiger Lake H come with up to 8 cores and 16 threads, up to 5 gigahertz across multiple cores, and 20 lanes of PCI Express Gen 4, but with a higher TDP. So this will be a much better comparison to AMD's current Ryzen 5000 H mobile parts, so we can finally see how the two architectures really stack up. Either way, make sure to be ready on May 11th. But first, if you love talking all things gaming hardware, join the GamerMail Discord server for free today. From finding great hardware deals to leveling up the more you chat or asking questions about what PC parts to get, the GamerMail Discord server is a great place to hang out. And soon I'll be bringing back the Rig of the Month contest so you can show off your hardware and potentially get a sweet new role. So join the meld today by visiting discord.gg slash GamerMeld. Next up for today, if you followed the channel, you know that we most recently heard that NVIDIA's RTX 3080 Ti is set for release on May 26th. Well, in a new post from IT Home that originated from an X preview forum post, it looks like NVIDIA has given out the full launch dates for the upcoming card. According to this, the announcement is set for May 18th, with a review embargo ending on May 25th, and the release date for May 26th like we originally heard. And like I went over before, the full specs have already leaked. And the 3080 Ti looks to be a slightly cut down 3090 with only 12GB of GDDR6X VRAM. At the end of the day, this is clearly meant to compete with AMD's RX 6900 XT, given the insane price tag of Nvidia's 3090. Of course, stock is the main concern, but I've got good news on that later in the video. In the meantime, a really big story dropped from the site MoPC. In it, they claim that Zen 5, which would make up Ryzen 8000 CPUs, and yes, I know we don't have Ryzen 6000, and I'm talking about 8000, but hold on. It's a really interesting report. For one, it's set to be built on 3 nanometers. 3 nanometers, people, that's absolutely insane, and it's not even the biggest point. The upcoming Zen 5 based processors, apparently codenamed Strix Point, utilize ARM's big dot little architecture design, or well, AMD's take on it. And that's a really big deal, because if you haven't followed the channel, Intel's upcoming 12th gen CPUs are also set to be built off of the big dot little approach. So this is really interesting if the report is right. I mean, I still don't get why they do this on desktop. The design was made as a technique to save on battery life in mobile devices. And sure, I get that you could likely get a lower TDP, but with desktops being used a lot of times for professional purposes, the little cores will just slow things down during all core workloads. Either way, according to this, AMD's Zen 5 parts will come with 8 Zen 5 cores and 4 little cores. Of course, that is a bit surprising considering that's ultimately a downgrade, but we shall see. Regardless, with AMD also reportedly utilizing the tech, maybe it will be a bigger deal for desktop than I originally thought. And it certainly makes me more interested in Intel's upcoming 12th gen CPUs. Don't forget that those are set to come later this year. And lastly for today, I've got a huge story that should finally start helping GPU stock. And that comes from the sources of the story, which I believe are some of NVIDIA's partners. Anyway, the story originally comes from video cards, and according to them, NVIDIA's RTX 3000 series is set to get a full refresh with shipments starting sometime in the middle of May. What's interesting about this is that the new Ampere cards will feature resizable bar support as well as a hash rate limiter NVIDIA is calling light hash rate. Well, they're calling it that for board partners, it's not a marketing term or anything like that. In fact, it looks like NVIDIA won't be making any kind of announcement on the new cards or anything. They're also going to keep everything the same, likely so miners can't tell what it is without actually looking at the card or pulling up software to check the device ID. 
Basically, it could have a real effect on miners buying GeForce cards moving forward. According to the report, all of the GeForce cards are set to get this treatment except for possibly the 3090 because the mining profitability is low due to the price anyway. Not only that, but as I alluded to earlier, Video Cards mentions that supply for Ampere cards is expected to improve with the launch of these new cards. And it sounds like that's coming from Nvidia's board partners, so here's the hoping. Of course, there are some potential issues. First, if Nvidia screws this up like the 3060, then the fact that we don't actually know what this new limiter does. If it still only halves the mining of the card, plenty of miners will still find it worth the price when at MSRP. Regardless, it's better than nothing, and the expectation of it actually helping supply gives me at least some hope. Time, as always, will tell. So while that does it for today, do you think Nvidia's hash rate limiter will truly help with GPU stock, or are you more interested in AMD potentially going the big dot little route? Let me know down in the comments below. And definitely don't forget to check out my 14 nanometer plus 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 infinity mug at store.gamermail.com. And as always, have a great day.